హలో ఎవ్రీవాన్ వెల్కమ్ టు ఎడ్యుకేషన్ ఇన్ హ్యాండ్స్ ఆఫ్టర్ గెయినింగ్ గుడ్ నాలెడ్జ్ ఆన్ ద బేసిక్స్ ఫర్ లిమిట్ స్టేట్ మెథడ్ ఇన్ అవర్ ప్రీవియస్ వీడియోస్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు స్టార్ట్ ఎ న్యూ టాపిక్ దట్ ఈస్ కనెక్షన్స్ If you are new to this channel, consider subscribing in the below section and hit the little bell icon with all notifications so that you can't miss any update of the new videos which we are going to post daily. If we see in case of RCC structures, we connect the members by casting them at site itself. But in case of steel structures, different types of steel sections which are already rolled in mills are available in the market so they need to be joined at the time of erection and that joining can be done by using various types of fasteners like bolts rivets or by welding methods these connections can happen between two or more members in a structure like connection between a beam and a column to transfer the load from beam to column or connection between a column and a column cap which is for transferring load from column to the base or foundation or else the connection of truss members to a gusset plate like in a roof structure or else the connection of purlins and rafters in a structure all these members in a structure need to be connected with certain fasteners and this connection should be good enough so to maintain this good connection we need to follow or we need to satisfy certain requirements to make it as a good connection in that one the first requirement is like the design should be designed in a way like it can be easily installed inspected and maintained so whenever we are selecting a connection means it should be easily installed and easily inspected and easily maintained that is the first requirement for a good connection and then it should be seen that there is a least possible weakening of the parts to be joined so whenever two members are joined together we should ensure there must be least possible weakening of the elements then the last one is it should be rigid enough to avoid fluctuating stresses which may cause fatigue failure so like whenever there is an vibration or any other secondary effects at that time this connection should be rigid enough and avoid the fluctuating stresses so that we can control the fatigue failure so if we see we are using different types of connections like riveted connections bolted connections and welded connections and as well as combination of these three connections but according to our indian context is 800 2007 these riveted connections has completely eliminated in the design whereas some basic introduction is given in the code book then the design for bolted and welded connections are discussed in section 10 of is 800 2007 so according to our syllabus and pattern we will discuss this bolted and welded connection designs in the next coming classes so in next video we will see a brief introduction about the rivet and what is a rivet and what are the types of rivets and advantages and disadvantages in the next video and then we will go with our designs in bolted and welded connections thank you see you in the next video